Session number two on the jab, all right? So what we learned last time is basically to start off standing right on the bag bend and just kind of get our, get our hips moving, put our shoulder where it needs to be, clenching our jaw, putting our chin down, right? Making sure that when we jab, we're protecting ourselves. Very basic jab. Then we came off of the bag, right? More of a combat sports thing, and then covered distance with the jab to be able to come in, all right? Doubling them and tripling them up is important, and if I'm gonna do that, it's all a matter of shuffle stepping. So if I'm gonna cover distance, all I'm doing is this, right? So I'm, I'm stepping every time I jab to cover the distance. I don't wanna just walk into that combative space, right? I wanna give that guy something to deal with as I get into, uh, as, as I make entry. All right, so now let's talk about being a little bit more evasive and doing things that make us a little bit harder to hit. So if you look, if I'm using my hips correctly and my, my shoulders correctly, my head does get a little bit offline when I jab if I'm here. Boom, my head comes offline just a little bit. You want to make sure that when you're jabbing, your head is going to be in a different place because then when I transfer to a two, boom, my head's going to the other side. That way I'm not staying directly in front of the guy that I'm fighting. Right? So you just want to concentrate on a little bit of that head movement and making sure that when you punch, right, your head's coming offline. Now, if you're fighting a right-handed fighter, obviously, the wrong thing to do, but the physically easiest thing to do, and what people like to do, is a fallaway jab. And a fallaway jab is when I, I come this way, right, or like a check hook almost footwork, is where I'm fading into the strong hand of the person I'm fighting. I don't want to do that, and I don't want that to be my habit. So what we're going to do is, when we're, when we're jabbing, we're going to step around this guy, right? So I'm going to, I'm going to have to step him to the side, step, 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 right? So I've got to be able to move away from his strong hand. Now, it seems like that would be easy, but it is in people's nature and it's their inclination to do this, which isn't wrong in some circumstances. But as a general rule, we don't want to move towards the strong side of the guy we're fighting. All right, so there's a little bit of head movement and there's a little bit of foot movement. Now let's talk about a couple of different kinds of jabs, all right? The first jab that we're gonna do, we've already learned the very basic first one, okay? Now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna stab in and use that jab to the center uh, of, of his body, to the solar plexus. So if I'm here, when I step in, I'm gonna bend at the waist and get underneath this punch and then come back out, right? Here, step in, stab. You can see the lunge position almost of my feet. And then to get out, if all I'm gonna do is jump in and boom, hit his stomach and not stay, stay in there and fight him, all I'm gonna do is I'm here, my weight is all on my front foot. Now I've gotta shift my shoulders past my hip and basically cover myself as I leave. So it's a weight transference thing. I load and then I come out. So if you look, load, then it's almost a shoulder roll. See how I'm rolling my shoulder up to protect my face? My hand comes back, and then what I'm gonna do is to adjust my feet, I'm gonna unweight, right? Another one of our combative principles, and kind of like picking up a, uh, a mannequin, my weight's gonna be back where I can attack if he can, comes at me. So what I'm doing is I'm here, I'm gonna stab in, and then come out. Stab in, come out. Think of it just like a stab, just like if you had a knife, and you were gonna lunge in and try to hit somebody in the, in the stomach or in the heart, you'd wanna get underneath what they're gonna do, all right? That's the first kind of jab that we can say isn't like a, a standard jab. Another jab, okay, that we can use is a drop shift jab. A drop shift jab is I'm gonna punch with my left or stab with my left hand, but I'm gonna move my right foot. That's gonna get me significantly offline and put me perpendicular, another one of our combative principles, right? Perpendicularity to his side, so my hips will be perpendicular. So if you look at the normal jab, I punch with my left hand, step with my left hand, right? This one, I'm gonna step with my right foot, and then I'm gonna turn over boom, into the two. So now I'm clearly not in line with my opponent, I'm on the side. So combatively, that could be literally a finger jab, boom, and then a palm heel. It could be a palm heel and then an elbow, right? So all you're doing is coming from the side. So that one, all we're going to do is be here, step, turn over. All right? So I'm here, step, turn over. Now, if you look at my feet, I'm still a right-handed fighter. I didn't turn into a southpaw fighter. A lot of times people will screw up that footwork and end up reversed. There's, it's not necessary, but you have to turn your hips. 
So I'm here facing my opponent. I step. Now what I'm gonna do is pivot on this foot and face the opposite direction 90 degrees. Now my hips are perpendicular to his and I'm ready to step around and have him keep trying to find me, which is what I'm gonna do. I wanna lead this dance. I don't want him to be in charge. I wanna be in charge. So to review, first one we had was basically getting our head offline, right? Stepping in, boom, on our jab and getting our head offline. Next one we had was moving in the right direction, right? So we're moving away from the strong hand. Next one we had was basically the low jab to the stomach. And then lastly, we had drop shift, where I'm literally shifting out of line with my opponent and getting that 90 degree angle. 